I'm Miles Kovacs. I'm the president and co-founder of Dub Magazine. We're at the Dub headquarters in Santa Fe Springs. Hey everyone, I'm Seth Eklund, Executive Director here at the Brzee Foundation. So I actually met Miles back in 2009 and he came and uh, on a career day and spoke to Brzee's middle school kids. So my first encounter with Brzee was actually uh, speaking at a career day and um, it was really cool, went there. I think there was a guy from B of A and all these other companies and I'm like, what is this street kid here doing talking with all these professionals? But, um, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. And um, it seemed like the kids really resonated with my story because I'm not an NBA basketball player, football player. I'm not a, you know, a guy out there slanging dope. I'm a guy slanging dub. And I've been able to make legitimate business out of my life and uh, do the things the right way. And, um, you know, it's been tough, but you know what? It's well worth it. Clearly the kids were um, very into his presentation. And then about a year later in 2010, um, you know, one of our vehicles had been grounded by the CHP after years and years of wear and tear. I wrote an email to Miles and was like, Miles, I know you, you know, you normally work on celebrities' cars, but would you ever uh, consider doing an extreme makeover of, uh, you know, the, the Brizzy buses? My name is Fonda Whitehead and I work at the Brazil Foundation. I am the development director. I've been here almost 20 years. Miles not only is a, a successful business guy who wants to help the kids, but he continues to come back and help. I've heard him speak and he's just phenomenal. And But not only does he speak, but he's sending out a message to the kids that he's there for them. Transportation is so key here at Brzee. Um, our kids, a lot of our kids, have never been 10 miles outside of their neighborhood. I am Jasmine Garcia. I am a senior at Central City Valley High School, and I am currently a Goals for Life intern. Well, I would like to thank Miles Kovacs for his generosity upon fixing the community bus for the Brzee Foundation. Um, I strongly believe that if it hadn't been for his kindness, we would have never um, been to events such as like college tours. My name is Margarita Cancino. We're in seventh grade. We attend Virgil Middle School and we are in the Breezy program. My name is Stephanie, Gar Stephanie Garcia and I also attend Breezy. We thank you for fixing the bus so that we could go to field trips such as the movies, to go to the science center and the park to treat ourselves for our great, our good grades and thank you for that. I really enjoy having this bus being fixed because we wouldn't have been able to have as many people as we could on field trips such as hiking and bowling and the more people the more fun it is. Thank, thank you! you. <laughs> it was maybe a week later um, he took the bus out to his dub shop um, and we got the bu bus back in three months and it was astonishing. It was incredible, the extreme makeover. I'm pretty sure that we're the only youth bus in America that has rims. So in all of Miles' speeches, he always uh, talks about this. He says, Is the glass half empty? Is the glass half empty? Or half full? Or is the glass half full? Get a smaller glass. This is uh, Seth Eklund from Brzee Foundation. Yeah! Giving a big thanks to my man Andy, John Ooh. Ramos, Miles Kovacs, all the people at Dub Magazine who, uh, who really did an amazing job with our bus. And so really from the bottom of our heart, we want to say thank you on behalf of all the kids um, in Los Angeles who are now going to be riding in style. There's actually a trip to UCLA tomorrow and a trip to the karate um, exhibition in El Monte. We didn't have the way to get the kids there, so now we do. So thank you, brother. No problem. Thank, thank you. you. It, was, it was good helping you guys out.